Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session 10th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates for leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, market uh, potential uh, market movements, let's uh, let's uh, just quickly sum up the actual uh, moves overnight in terms of the Asian session. Uh, we've had quite a stellar rally followed by the US markets hitting new highs. NASDAQ, Dow, S&P all breaking through uh, in terms of uh, resistance above. You have the European session certainly following through, although it certainly is uh, fizzling out at present given the uh, concerns with regards to Frexit and Grexit in the Eurozone. You have the FTSE 100 up 0.3%, DAX up 0.4%, CAC up 0.2%. Asian markets uh, stellar rally on the Nikkei up 2 point, a whopping 2.5%. Uh, European markets certainly um, obviously pushed higher on the back of uh, stronger Chinese data. Uh, certainly Chinese data on the upside. Okay, so yes, stronger Chinese data, certainly helping uh, exports, imports, certainly on the stronger side, certainly helping uh, risk sentiment there. Although it was dampened to some extent by Mr. Evans' hawkish rhetoric overnight. And also you had uh, French industrial production. Uh, certainly on the uh, weaker side as well, so manufacturing and production on the weaker side. We also have obviously the ongoing concerns or political concerns and the ramifications from a potential uh, Le Pen victory in France, okay, and also Greece, uh, Greek yields certainly spiking as well, certainly causing alarm in Europe. So political chaos and uncertainty in Eurozone, especially with higher inflation now and the EC being forced to uh, potentially uh, taper as well. Also rhetoric from Mr. Trump with regards to Germany's trade surplus and so on and so forth. So it certainly isn't a, a, a very bullish picture in Europe, but it certainly seems to be very bullish in the US with uh, obviously hope or this hopium trade and tax cuts and fiscal uh, stimulus, etc. Okay. Now, in terms of the next move, let's look at the actual picture here. Now, the German DAX still remains bearish for me. Okay, given the fact that we are making this right shoulder, the Fib, uh, we're still below Fib 50 to 61 percent. Okay, so HNS formation is still valid, and therefore bias remains bearish. That's my interpretation here. Okay, 60-minute chart at present on the German DAX, you are holding resistance or into resistance here. A lot of turbulence around this zone at 11,720, 11,750, and then obviously you ultimate you have gap fill at 11,815. 10 minute chart at the moment we certainly are hitting resistance and holding resistance you've certainly gapped higher let's see if we can close this gap at 11640 you have uh, support you have support here as well so those are the two zones that you're looking at okay in terms of the uh, the actual french cac let's just quickly look at this okay again you're into that fib 61 percent so therefore looking for weakness on the daily chart Six, uh, 60 minute chart you're holding resistance here at 4850 zone okay so again looking for further weakness 10 minute chart at the moment you're certainly looking to flush uh, from my perspective anyway certainly looking to close that gap below at 4760 okay in terms of the next market move okay now moving on to the FTSE 100 okay you are holding resistance and potential topping tail on the FTSE here at 7260 zone certainly looking uh, weak from my perspective although oil price is certainly being helped higher on the back of uh, oil demand or, or certainly increasing okay given the um, uh, the actual uh, forecast by OPEC uh, and that certainly is helping uh, the uh, commodity related stocks so just bear that in mind although the daily chart on the FTSE 100 you are now into that FIB 61 percent so one should start to exercise caution any potential longs from my perspective especially given the fact that the uh, the monthly chart certainly has the topping tail uh, obviously, we have been helped by oil and uh, U.S. equities higher, and you are looking for a potential reversal there. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Okay, so that certainly has covered the FTSE. Let's quickly look at the euro stocks before I uh, depart here now. 60-minute uh, chart, certainly a topping tail. You do have an unfilled gap at uh, 3202, though, bear that in mind. Okay, certainly a topping tail here, looking for resistance on the euro stocks, looking at the daily chart on the euro stocks again. From my perspective, you're looking for a lower high, and that obviously goes in concert with the HNS formation on the German DAX. Okay, folks, uh, I think that's a good summary. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye.